Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is your friend and your host, Kurundi Tani, and this is the Kurundi Tani Podcast. And our special guest speaker for today is Frederick Lindstrom. And together with Frederick, we are going to talk about everything is within. So with honor and pleasure, let's welcome Frederick. Hi, Frederick. Welcome. Hi, Karen. And thank you. The honor and the pleasure is all mine. Lovely to be back here and having a nice chat with you. Same here. So, yeah. Frederick, our topic for today is everything is within. So, I would like to start with you by asking this question. When we say everything is within, what does it actually mean? What is within? Well, to me, everything is inside you or within. I mean, it, it could it could mean a lot of things, but to me, it means that that we're we're whole. We're never we're never broken. We're uh, we always have the possibility of uh, of well being. Um, we're we're always only one thought away from mental health, and that there's nothing we nothing we have to do there's nothing to that we must seek around us the answer is always inside us that that's what it means to me what do you say Karen? Hmm. yeah exactly it's like every single thing is built in all the answers love happiness compassion kindness forgiveness apology solutions opportunities ideas every single thing is within we try to find the answers to our solutions by thinking about the problems we try to get new ideas by thinking about the confusion the problem we try to be kind compassionate by thinking about things upon the negative stuff negative thoughts but we never realize that it's all within. It's inbuilt within us. Love is inbuilt within us. Happiness, it's within us. Compassion, kindness, all the answers, they're within. And it happens when we quiet our thinking, when we stop thinking too much about the problems. Yeah. And any single problem that we have in our life, there's always a solution. And it's just within. And it comes with good feelings. Mm -hmm. And this is what I experience in my life. So yeah, how is it with you? Like you say, everything is within. I mean, even the, the things that we, that we perceive as problems is something that we, that we create, innocently create within ourselves. I mean, you and I live in separate realities. I create my own reality from within, 100%. So every, everything is within. Hmm. Yeah. And, and how do you experience... Uh the answers, the solutions, love, happiness, do you have to think about them? Or do you just flow with the moment? How do you experience uh, this thing which we are talking about, everything is within? Yeah. Well, there's, uh, there's definitely been a shift since I've come in contact with the principles. I, I like many others, uh, live my life uh, outside in it it felt like and it looked like i was um that stuff happened to me and i reacted um but but after after getting in contact with this and started to see uh that it's that it's quite the opposite that everything is created from from the inside out uh my life will never be the same. 
I, I, it's like I've been, <clears throat> and I thought, I mean, like I, like last time we, we chatted, I think I said to you that I've never, I, I've never been like really down or really, I, I, I've never been um, in a, in a poor state mentally, uh, but I, I've had like normal upset and anger and stress or what I thought was normal. Uh, so when I got, when I got to see this, it was like, it was like I, I've been living all my life with a, with a pair of glasses that were scratched on the lenses. Uh, but that looked normal to me because that, that was how I've lived my life and how, I mean, almost every human live their lives. We, we, we take it, we take that for granted. We take that as normal. But with a deeper understanding of this, it's like switching to, to new glasses. Or when you go and, and get new glasses and when, you're, when your eyesight has been worse than and you get new glasses and wow, I can see clearly now. I, th I thought I saw good, but now I can really see clearly. So like you say, uh, I try not, <laughs> I try not. Well, when I start, when I start using my intellect, when I start trying to figure stuff out, I, I know, I know I'm, I'm walking down the wrong path because that's also something that's been quite clear with a deeper understanding. Solutions will present themselves. Like you say, just quiet our mind, back away from the, from the, um, analysis from the thinking from the intellect then then the solutions will present themselves that's my my experience and you beautiful yeah it's just like when we get new glasses we see things more clearly hmm. and this is what happens in our life like when when we are caught up in our thinking trying to find the solutions answers ideas even love even understanding even happiness we just get caught up in our thinking and we don't see clearly but when we let go of those thoughts they just pass by and we see things more clearly and uh, I, I call it wisdom some people call it God, universe, the source. Whatever name you call it by, this power is always guiding you. It's always within. It's infinite. Every single thing that starts from this, comes from this. And every single thing is in it. That's why every single thing is within. And I call it wisdom. This wisdom is always guiding us, giving us all the answers so when when we let go of our thoughts new thoughts come for example if let's say i hate someone and i have those thoughts oh my god i hate that person that guy is mean he hurt me and he did that thing with me i don't like it and and if i keep thinking those thoughts again again and again even if i try to change my thoughts by thinking them again and again i'll be caught up in the negative thinking. I won't have my answers because when you focus on one thought, you attract more similar thoughts. Thought of hatred attracts more thoughts of hatred. Thought of jealousy attracts more thoughts of jealousy. So when I'm caught up in these thoughts of hatred, jealousy, I attract more of them. And soon I find myself stressed, anxious, down low mood so for me i just let my thinking go and when when we just let our thinking go new thoughts come the answers that we were looking for they come new realities come as you said we see more clearly and this is our infinite glass that's always clean that always has the clarity it's just within 
And for me, my experience is simple. I do get caught up in my thinking. And when I do, that is a different world. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The world of stress, hatred, judgments. And I think it's the same with every single person. When they yeah. get caught up in their thinking, this is what they feel. Yeah. Yeah. But when we let go, we experience a different world. We have love. We have understanding. We have our answers and every single thing. Yeah, like you said, it, it's it's human to get get caught up in our thinking. But the the deeper person sees that the only thing the only thing they can experience is their own thinking. That's the only thing we can experience: our own thoughts, the thoughts that pop into our consciousness. That's all we can experience. And when people see that on a deep plane. It's much easier for them to bounce back. Like when you've been caught up in your thoughts, it's much easier to see it. To see that it when you when you when you know, when you know in your heart that oh, I got caught up in my thoughts again. Because there's a big, big difference. Uh, there's a big difference in knowing that, oh, I, I'm caught up in my thoughts about this guy that you hated and the difference uh, difference between that and that you really hate this guy or that you're that you're scared or of your thoughts from your past or that your past scares you because when you see or the future because uh, because when you see that it's the only thing you experience are your thoughts i find that that that's that's really powerful to people when they see that they're only thoughts, nothing more than thoughts, then, then something happens. Exactly. We think that it is the outside world that is controlling us, the people around us, the things around us, the situations around us. The, the lack of money, uh, the lack of stuff in our life. But it's not like outside in, outside world controlling you inside, in your mind. It's always inside out. What do you think you feel? You might be in a debt of, let's say, $1 million. And it has nothing to do with your feelings. Nothing to do with your feelings because if you didn't know that you were in a debt of one million dollar, you would not think that and you would not feel that. The same way when a billionaire has a loss of let's say one million dollars, he or she doesn't give it much thinking. They know that they can make that amount again. Mm. So they don't feel that much stressed. So it's always our thinking, always. But that is not enough. Knowing that it's our thinking that's causing us all the feelings of stress, anxiety, depression, it is not enough. We have to go within. Because what we want are the solutions to our problems. What we want are the answers to the things, to the problems that we have in our life. We want love understanding we want happiness and it's always within we don't have to change our thinking because our thinking is already changing thought by nature is always changing only when we let it go but when we stay stuck to thoughts they take control over us and it's not like they take control of us. We give our power away. Just like when you fight with a drunk man, no matter how much you fight with that man, he'll fight you back because that man is drunk. But when you let go, that drunk man goes away. So uh, how do you experience answers to your problems in your life? 
all the solutions to your problems. Uh, well, like like we discussed earlier, earlier, the problems are only problems when you give your problematic thoughts about them energy. Problems often appear when we have a, we have a some some way of thinking how we want something to be or not to be. And when it, and then when it doesn't turn out our way, that's a problem to us. But often things can be good, even though they aren't as we planned. And like you say, everything is really within us. I mean, this this uh, this life force, this uh, divine mind, this thing that gives life, the, the thing that gives life to all that is living. It takes care of us. And it's, it's easy for us humans to rely on that when it comes to our, our physical well, well-being. I mean, if you get a wound on your hand, you're not worried that it, that it won't heal. You, you, you clean it, then you put a Band-Aid, and then you give it time. And then the life force behind this will heal it. You don't have to be there and check it and rub it and do stuff because it will heal. But when it comes to, to solutions or what I, what I must do to feel good inside mentally, we don't really rely on the life force, the same force. We can't even see that the, our physical and our mental body is the same. We've divided into two parts, but it's all the same. And the life force also takes care of our mental well-being. There's nothing we have to do. Like you said, the problem is not what we're thinking. The problem is that we're thinking at all. Because when we're not thinking, everyone is at peace. There's not, a, there's not a single person on this earth who's not at peace, uh, filled with joy and contentment when they're not thinking. But we, but we uh, like, I, like I said in our last, our last talk, I'm, I'm in healthcare. I've been working in social psychiatry for 10 years, and we tend to do this very complicated when it comes to mental health. But it's, but it's really, it's actually really simple. But we, we must, must learn to trust this like we trust it when it comes to our physical body, trust it when it comes to our, our mental health as well. So there's where, where all the solution lies. Mm. Yeah, and that's what I see. Like when it comes to mental illness you know stress depression anxiety what happens is that people they go to doctors psychologists psychiatrists and what they do they take them back into the past mm -hmm. they look for the answers in the past mm -hmm. and a mind cannot solve a problem with the same mind that created the problem so the answers that they are looking for they're not in the intellect they are not in going back into the past they are here in this moment the answers are always arising always I have tried that. I have tried to find answers from the past. I have thought a lot. And the more I thought about the past, the more of those thoughts came. Yeah. Yeah. And it doesn't work. It may. No. Yeah. It may or may no, not I'm... work, but, but it doesn't work that way. No, and I mean, <laughs> it's quite ironic because you can't experience the past. You can't experience the future. 
you can only experience your thoughts about the past or your thoughts about your future. Exactly. And that's a, that's a for me that's a really big difference. But 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 then but then again, people that try to help others and take them innocently back to the past. I mean, they're doing the they're doing a great job from their level of understanding. They're doing the best they can. Uh, but like you and and like you said, uh, it may it may relieve uh, it may relieve part of the pain for for some people. Uh, I mean, it could help to just talk about it if they if they if they put all the feelings inside them and locked it in there and haven't talked to anyone. It might help a bit to talk about it, but but they haven't got a greater understanding how they create their own experience of life from the inside out. So it's like it's like um, I don't know. It's like rinsing your hand under cold water, but you're still, but you're still putting on the, on the hot plate. So you're just uh, patching up the symptoms. When we help people to a greater understanding, when when we help people get in contact with their inner wisdom, everything changes. I mean, <laughs> I mean, not a, not only. The rest of their life will change but also the part of the life that they've already lived i mean even their their past changes i don't know who i'm quoting but i like the quote it's never too late to have a happy childhood and that's something i i really love because when you grow up and you could have had a a childhood that that you uh, experienced as miserable. I've had a lousy childhood, and you can blame your your current situation on your upbringing. But when you get older, and if you get to a deeper level of, level of understanding, you can see your perhaps your parents would more understand and love. And like that, you had a great childhood. Nothing has changed in your upbringing or, or in your childhood only your experience so for me that's that's the most powerful way is to help people get in contact with their inner wisdom then there's then then there's no limit i mean like dr bill pettit says never broken nothing lacking uh, and that's that's so true that's so true Beautiful, beautiful. This is the answer. The answer is within. It's not going back into the past. And when we let go of all the thoughts about past, we have new thoughts, divine thoughts. And the reality changes because in those divine thoughts, there is good feeling. Mm. With the good feelings, we have love, understanding. We see things differently, right? Yeah. Yeah. As you said, nothing changed but my experience. Beautiful. When you're in a positive feeling, you know that you're giving your thoughts like the the right amount of attention if i get stressed if i get upset then i know that i'm taking my thinking way too serious so try to quiet my mind leave my thinking alone and just return to that positive feeling that is our factory default so let the feeling guide us Mm. beautiful exactly we, we think that our thoughts are real okay because they feel real yeah but thoughts are not facts 
they're not facts and going back into the past thinking to find the solution is like trying to get out of a hole by digging more yeah. <laughs> the more yeah. you dig the deeper you go you don't come out of that no yeah so so the answers that we are looking for they are not outside they are inside and and there's not a single technique or thing that you have to learn or do it's always happening when your mind is quiet or when you're not overthinking when you enjoy the moment when you're present to the moment you get your answers you get your solutions yeah like when you when you play with your friends you have a good time and after you finish playing with them you have good feelings okay this is when you receive your answers when you go walk in nature this is when you receive your answers when you wake up your mind is quiet this is when you have your answers it is always happening the wisdom is always guiding us it's just that our thoughts come in the way and it's not like our thoughts have the power to come in the way they come in the way with our attention with the reaction to the thoughts and as sydney banks said you don't have to react to your thoughts just let them go every single thought is a passing thought it's passing by you know that reminds me of a story uh, once a man went to a big guru and he said he said give me something that can help me and all the sufferings of my life and the guru gave him a piece of paper and he said to the man whenever you have any problem just open it and read it your problem will be solved and the man took the piece of paper and whenever he had any problem he opened that piece of paper and in that piece of paper something was written and that was this do shall pass so whenever he had a problem he read okay this do shall pass problem passed by and whenever he had negative thoughts he read this do shall pass they passed by so every single thing is passing and every single thought is passing sydney banks said in this in his book the missing link every single thought is a passing thought it's passing by so when we don't react to our thoughts when we just let them go those thoughts pass and we live in this present moment with the guidance from the wisdom or from god or from universe you might call it by any name it's just yeah. one power hmm. Beautiful. Thank you. I like to read and I like to read quotes and I, I find it interesting to read um, Albert Einstein, you know, the great physicist. Uh, read his quotes and 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 uh, compare them to Sid's writings. And when you talked about intellect, there was, there was something that sprang to me. Einstein supposedly said, the intellect has little to do on the road to discovery. There comes a leap in consciousness, call it intu intuition or what you will. The solution comes to you and you don't know how or why. I think 99 times and find nothing. I stop thinking, swim in silence, and the truth comes to me. Wow. Beautiful. And this was like, I don't know, hundreds of years ago? What year was it when he was alive? Well, he, he wrote the uh, his most known formula in 1905, I think. 
Wasn't it nine of five? Yeah, yeah, more than hundred years. Hundred years ago, and many of many of Einstein's quotes uh, reveals that he he knew a lot about the universe, and his his quotes are very spiritual, even though he was a physicist. He was very very spiritual, and and he, yeah. Many, many of his and Sid's quotes, quotes are almost identical. And I find that very interesting because Einstein was re rewarded the Nobel Prize and it's very, um, well, because when you, when you talk about something that's spiritual and uh, you talk about God and you talk about, about energies and stuff like that, People can tend to be, oh, that's a bit, that's a bit, uh, people, people rely more on, on, on fa like facts, the things that we can prove, we can measure, with, like mathematics and physics and chemistry. Uh, but when you start comparing them, like Sidney Banks and Einstein, they're talking about the same the same this like you said if we call it god if we call it divine mind we could call it whatever so i recommend i recommend uh, that uh, read up some read up on some some einsteins <laughs> einstein quotes that's a uh, great great fun yeah beautiful and he was one of the greatest scientists ever on this planet um, great and this is the same message that all the big gurus all the big teachers have been sharing since the beginning of the world buddha krishna Mahatma gandhi dalai lama all the teachers of this world they all have been sharing the same message that the truth lies within every yeah. single thing is within god is within every single religion hinduism islam yeah. christian they, they they all are talking about the truth in their own words and the truth is always within god is always within It's just that we, we, we just believe more in our thoughts and have less faith in the wisdom. And we realize that in the mind, it's just the thoughts. It's not the situation. There are thoughts about the situation. There's a big difference between a situation and thoughts about the situation. For example, right now, if I can see that... Some man is drinking water. That man is over there, not in my mind. The water is over there, not in my mind. But if I think about the man drinking water, they are my thoughts about the situation. And they are two separate things. And we make thoughts up in our mind with our perception. We all have our own realities. As you said, we have separate realities. So we make things up with our thoughts and we think they are real. They are not real. The situations may or may not be real, but thoughts are not real. They are made up. We are always making them up. We think them, we feel them. All we have to do is just realize they're all thoughts and let them go. And we experience this, this God within, this wisdom within. Something that is always, always already guiding us. 24 seven. What is mental health for you? Yeah. 
mental health for me. Mental disease. Mental health for me is like the opposite of mental disease. Disease. When I innocently create disease in my system, I get stressed, I get upset, I get tensed, I get aches in my body, I, I worry. Uh, that's mental disease. Mental health is our natural state. The state of no thought. Where we, where we experience joy, contentment and happiness. Mental health is always one thought away, just one thought away. And it's, it's our given birthright. What's mental health to you? Beautiful. It's always there, just one thought away. It's like I ask myself, where is my nose? It's always here. It's always here. That's how I can smell. I can smell the flowers, fragrance, food, and everything. And the same thing is with mental health. We always have innate mental health. We think we are broken. We are depressed. We are stressed. But we were never built this way. Psychology says we have to go back into the past and dig deeper over there. But as I said, you can't get out of a hole by digging more, by digging deeper. You get more into that hole by digging deeper. And it's like trying to dry yourself by getting more into the water or by playing with the water. It doesn't work that way. The same way when we realize that the answers are not in the past, mental health is not in the past. It's always here. We are never depressed, never stressed. We think those thoughts and feel them. We think depressing thoughts and feel depressed. We think stressful thoughts and feel stressed. But that's a big difference. Like like you said, we are we are never those things. We're never stressed. We just have stressful thinking. And I mean, I'm not even Frederick. I'm not I'm not bearded. I'm not. I have a lot of thoughts about myself, thoughts of my own and thoughts that, that other have given me. I'm not those, those thoughts either. There's not, that's not who I am. I am this energy, this, this life for, force behind this. So it, it goes for all thoughts, not just the bad ones, the thoughts that I'm stressed or upset. I mean, every day, every day I get up and think that I'm Frederick, I'm work, working as a physiotherapist. Those are only thoughts as well. And, uh, it can be a helpful reminder to let, the, to let the ego go. All the thoughts that I have about me, who I am, the way I am. That's not, that's not true. That's not who I am. It's not the way I am. That's just some, <laughs> a bunch of thoughts that I've had for a really, really long time and also started believing. So it's quite interesting to start questioning those thoughts, thoughts that aren't bad in the sense that they're, they're creating stress or uncertainty in my life. But I mean, I get up in the morning and, and think and think a lot of things about myself that aren't true either.
Hmm, exactly. What we do is we identify with our thoughts. We think those thoughts, they are us. We think those thoughts are real. But thoughts, thoughts are not facts. They all are concept of the mind that we have made up. When we say, I am shy, I am poor, I am rich, I am broken, I am sad. What does it actually mean? If you are saying, I am sad, you could also say, I am happy. Which one is true? And has there ever been any person who has never felt happy? No. We all feel all the emotions. We all feel happy, sad, upset, excited, up. We are human beings. We have all the emotions. So why do we have to identify with our thoughts? Like you said, we live in separate realities. There is no reality. I mean, I can, I can have thoughts like, Frederick, wow, you're a magnificent singer. What a lovely voice. But when you hear me sing, mm, you, you think some other thoughts. Frederick, you're a horrible. Oh, please don't open your mouth. And there is no reality. There's only separate realities. And this is our power. We can think anything and feel anything. This is our free will. No matter where you are, you can always think what you want and feel what you want. It's our power. And it's up to us how we use it how we use this power. We can either use it for negative thinking or we can use it for positive thinking. It's all up to us. Yeah, when we see that it's just our thinking. Then we, then people get less afraid of uh, using it. Because if, if, we, if we think that we really experience life, then we can have some really unpleasant experiences. But when we see that, oh, I'm experiencing my thoughts, then there's nothing to be afraid of. If you go back a couple of years, I had to be courageous to do some things. Some things I was afraid of or felt uncomfortable. I had to be courageous. I had to defy my fear. But now I realize that <laughs> I'm not afraid of that. I'm not afraid of whatever, speaking in public or afraid of dark or afraid of whatever. There's nothing to be afraid of. The only thing I can be afraid of is my, the feeling I create via my scary thoughts. And thoughts are nothing. So there's, there's nothing to be afraid of. And when you realize that, and if you get, get a, a scary sensation in your body, then nowadays I, I start laughing. I start to play with it. Wow, what, what could I have been thinking that scares me now? Because I, I know it's not, nothing outside of me. I know that it's something inside my mind. So when you realize that, you don't have to be courageous. You're fearless. And for me, that's a big difference to not experience fear, to be fearless or experience fear, but fight it, conquer it. Beautiful. You know, it's like, it's not even a process that you have to do with the intellect. No. It's about having an insight into the nature of thought. Insight, what is insight? A sight from within. 
and that insight happens when you're present to the moment, when you quiet your thinking. You have this insight into the nature of thought. And then you realize, oh my God, they were just thoughts that I was thinking all my life. Now I can just let them go and allow this wisdom to guide me. And this mental health is always here. All the solutions are always here. The ideas, the opportunities that I was looking for, they were just here. You receive all the answers. They come with good feelings. They always come with good feelings. And you know they are right. When you feel them, you feel them. They just feel good. They feel happy. And this is God or wisdom always guiding us. And this is everything is within. All right, any last words uh, for the audience? Thank you, summed it up quite good there. Everything is within. You don't have to be insecure or stressed or scared anymore. And everything that you thought you needed, that you're trying to find, is hidden right in front of you, inside you. Beautiful. It's inside us. In us. Within. And everything is within. All at Frederick. Thank you very much. Thank you, Karen. It's been lovely talking to you. Thank you.